if you have the Second Amendment and you know, want to make sure everybody can bear arms, mm -hmm. you know, because that was an old. I mean, remember this? They writ they written this long time ago. So you're saying bear yes. arms or whatever? Are they saying it for? You know, if somebody break in and all that is—is is that what it really means? Is that the justification for the bare arms, or are they saying that just to make sure that the uh, government doesn't go Thank you. and they go Thank crazy you. and they want to just snatch guns from everybody just so they can do it? That—that that would be my question to you, Mitch. Uh, <laughs> Everybody, everybody, look, this is uncomfortable. Hey. This is your boy Kane. I got my boy Mitch over there. We getting it good. We getting it good. Look, look, this is another episode. This episode yeah. today, we're gonna talk about what? The Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. The right to bear arms. Should we have that right to bear arms for protection? Yeah, this 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 is what we got to talk about because man, there are so many uh, communities, countries that you know have stipulations on different things. Oh my God, it's just so crazy. But the right to bear arms—that's exactly what we have to have in America. Now, that's the Second Amendment, and we also got to bring in the whole picture of mass shootings uh oh okay so mass shootings it's been mm. happening. it's been happening it's happening at schools it's happening in supermarkets it's happening at wherever the venue wherever there's a mass group church of people, synagogue churches, wherever there's a mass group of people they've been having these mass shootings so if you look at the whole aspect you're saying well if they're that everybody has the right to bear arms so they can get whatever type of weapon or you know that, that that they want or whatever they can get that but however they these same people are the ones that are committing these mass shootings so should we change should we make some type of a, amendment to the second amendment should we put in some legislation that's going to you know actually change what's what we have in place right now mitch what do no. you think about it what you think about no it? no first off i want to give a shout out to class 2305 they know who they are thank you for subscribing <laughs> i love all of you guys and girls roger that Hi, uh hey, but uh for the second amendment i'm an advocate for it yeah republican democrat independent it doesn't matter. I'm for it because we need to be able to bear arms. Okay. And I'm for people doing it responsibly, getting your license, purchasing a weapon, and then going to a class well, to well, learn look, bro, how to shoot. Well, look, bro, some places, some states don't require a license. Okay. Some if they states don't, don't require, require a license, that's true. That's all true. you that's have true. to do that's is true. just go through a background check, right? You go through a background okay. check, they look at your background, and look at your whatever, and they figure out, that, hey, are you good? Thumbs up, thumbs down. That's how they figure it out. Well, so if that's, that's, and that's the fine. case, if that's the case, then why look. we are having these mass shootings. Should we change something, what we're doing now? No. Well, to me, no, because... I want everybody, even if the state doesn't require anything, once you purchase your weapon, legally, that's what we're talking about, legally, and then take some classes, go to the shooting range, because everyone needs to be able okay. to protect okay. themselves, because people, the criminals, whoever they may be, whoever they may be, it's not about race or anything like that. Whoever they may be, you need to be able to protect yourself and do it safely. 
because the criminals not going to stop getting guns. The criminals yeah. don't care about it's all the criminal side. Now. You Say know again? That. Yes, it's all yes. illegal on the criminal side. You know that. They don't care about whatever. Stop. They'll get the AR-15s. They'll get the nines. They'll get whatever. AK-47s. Yeah, yes, they will do that. So it doesn't matter on on the illegal side. So yeah. legally, so 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 I got a question for you, Mitch. All right, so what's up? All right, because you know I'm always a devil's advocate. I'm always. Go ahead. So so if you have the Second Amendment, and you know, want to make sure everybody can bear arms. Mm-hmm. You know, because that was a old. I mean, remember this? They writ they written this long time ago. So you're saying bear yes. arms or whatever. Are they saying it for, you know, somebody break in and all that? Is is that what it really means? Is that the justification for the bare arms? Or are they saying that just to make sure that the uh, government doesn't go Thank you. and they go Thank crazy you. and they want to just snatch guns from everybody just so they can do it? I'm, that, that would be my question to you, Mitch. Uh, <laughs> Already smiling because he got me excited, baby. <laughs> Let's go. People get into your history books. That's exactly Ooh. what it's about. Yes. So the government can't take control of us. Oh, yes. That's what to write the bare arms. Yes. That's what the meaning is. Yes. Because they take their guns away from us to write the bare arms and then mm-hmm. they put on any type of laws, whatever they want to do, because yeah. they're the only ones with guns. Yes. Now check your history books. Yes. Because now you we're know- in 2023. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's so crazy how the people that says we need to pull it away, we need to have restriction, we need to have regulations, but they the same ones that have all the guns around them. They might not have it in their hands per se, but they got the necessary people around and they got the security. They may have and all these other pr- protection. Yes, they may have. They're protection. paying for whatever that protection is. They're paying for whatever that is. So why? Are they protected, but we're not protected? Why is well, that? well, we all need to protect ourselves. And I'll tell you, uh, husbands, fathers, mothers, get you protection. Learn how to hold that weapon, how to carry that weapon, how to shoot that weapon, and be safe about it. Yeah. And then teach your kids when they get of age so they will know too. Because it's all about teaching and knowledge or whatever. A gun is yes. not a toy or yes. anything like that. But yes. to be able to defend yourself from whatever danger that may come, you need to be able to do that. So I don't think any law should change as far as the right to bear arms. Now, with the mass shootings and the AR 15s, and things of that nature. That's usually what they have yeah, when they course. do these. That's and what they're are... saying. They need to take the AR-15s out of the program. Like, no, take them out. No. Take all these other automatic weapons out. And we, what, we're going to have muskets? I don't, I don't know. They just don't yeah, want muskets. <laughs> I'm, just, muskets. I'm, just I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, what do you want us to have? Because everything is is automatic. If you got a Everything's nine millimeter, automatic. yes, yes. And people say that they like that assault rifle, that assault rifle. I don't have me AR-15 just yet, but I'm on my way to getting one. Mm -hmm. When I get back out of this school, that's what I'm going to do is purchase me one. Because I don't know what legislation could be passed where they might say we can't have it. I want it. Mm -hmm. I just want one. So It reminds me of being back. In the so military, I'm, I'm, I won't. It's, all, it's always I like to do the devil's advocate. So, Go. what would you say to that person that would say to you, "Well, what's the purpose of an AR-15 for self-protection? Why do you need such a powerful weapon to protect your family and your home? Why do you need that particular weapon?" Well, I want that weapon because you never know what can happen. Okay. I want to have access to as many weapons that I can legally purchase. You shouldn't be able to say no to that. I haven't done anything wrong. So my handgun, my shotgun, my AR-15, my revolver, I want those weapons. 
Okay. Come and on. if things, yeah. whatever hits the fan, we never know what to hit the fan. We never know. I want to be able to do what I need to do to protect my family, my people, protect myself because the criminals have it. The yeah, criminals yeah. have it. Well, 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 we can't we can't stop the criminals from getting it. They can get everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? That I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we can we can they can get everything. But however, okay, so you saying like, all right, well, uh when it comes to dealing with, I don't know, you know, AR 15s and stuff like that, that's just so violent. And you know, that's usually what they use in mass shootings because but it's all automatic, so semi-automatic, should I say? But um, I mean, same Thank thing you. with nine. Same thing with nine. So uh, you know, you, it's still if you shoot it, it reloads, and you shoot it again. Have it many times. Yes. You pull a trigger. That's semi-automatic. Automatic mm -hmm. is you hold on to the trigger, and that thing just keeps. Keep going. And hey, look, look, look. In, in the military, I, I have done it in the past. I have done it. I have the fifty cal. What have you done? And the two forty. Oh yeah, I've hit the, the automatic, and you just pull a trigger, and it just keep firing. Brr, brr. And they they they'll tell you like, hey, slow down. Hey, the cane, slow down. You're gonna heat up the barrel. You're gonna heat up brr. the barrel, man. Yes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yes. I'm telling you. But that's not what's available to the general public. That's not yes. available. It's semi-automatic. You pull it, it reloads. Pull it, it reloads. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the, that's what a nine millimeter would do. That's what a AR-15. You know that that it, it does the same exact thing. You know what I'm saying? So that that. It's, it's not a big difference. People think there's a big difference, but it's not a big difference. So if they ban uh, assault rifles, yeah, they have assault rifles. Let's say they they ban that or whatever. I want it. That falls in the same category as a nine mil and all these other that are semi-automatic. Well, you know, and one but, reason I will want want that AR-15 if in case something happens where mm -hmm. if if my Handgun, my nine millimeter, whatever forty that I have, can't do the job. I'm out of the fight, and it's multiple. Let's say bad people, whatever you want to call it, something's going on. It's multiple. I need to move around. I want that AR-15 collapsible stock, and be able to. Do what, what needs to be done. That's mm -hmm. all. That's all I'm talking about. So, so, and so, I, so I got a question for you. I, I, you know, yes. I'm always a devil's advocate. Man, man, come on. I'm, I'm a DA. So, so let's say you have a person that purchased this particular weapon. AR yes, okay. AR-15. Yeah, AR-15 or any other semi-automatic weapon. Yes. Whatever. Do you feel like they need to have any restrictions from having that that particular weapon? Because they have that weapon, they, they need to be restricted in any kind of way. Because remember, mass shootings is because of they can quickly reload or they have a max capacity uh, uh, magazine that they can kind of keep shooting or whatever. And that's what's right. Causing it. Usually yeah. 30 rounds. Yes. I got thirty rounds in a, a single magazine. So and yes. they have theirs extended mags, or whatever. But you have those or whatever, and they they they're shooting and they're going crazy, or whatever. Do you think there needs to be a limitation? Because I know that in certain states, this this is this is what I do know. That okay, you tell can't, me. That you can't you can't purchase a thirty round magazine in that state. Okay, yeah. You, from another state, but if you're in that state, you got to. They have you have to get the smaller rounds, like the 10, 10, 10 round magazine. Does it even matter? Does it even nope. matter that you got that nope. restriction? No, nope, because I can get three, four, 10 round clips. They can get mm -hmm. three 10 round clips and it'll be the same thing. And they just popping it in. Yeah. If they're gonna do that. Now, restrictions as far as restrictions, ages, 
uh, for the AR-15, if mm-hmm. they bumped it up to 21, 24. So, so look, 21, 24, doesn't matter? Saying, look, look, it doesn't, look, matter? I'm, I'm, that's what I'm about to say. It's it doesn't rifle. matter. In the, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter in the aspect of these people that have these mental issues that's going on. They can be of any age. They can be 21. They can be 35. It doesn't matter. Now, do I think that they should have uh, more uh, uh, stipulations on people with uh, mental conditions, I would say? But they wouldn't know. They wouldn't know. No, that's why. That, look, look. That's why I say, I, I believe in the Second Amendment. I believe mm-hmm. we should arm ourselves or whatever, because mm-hmm. we don't know what the other person has, what the other person is capable of. A person can buy, and most of the mass shootings, they don't bought these weapons legally. They're not on the black market getting them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They it's haven't not, said anything not, about that. It's so, not stolen weapons. It's not black market weapons. They are you. legally purchased for those mass so shootings. Why not, so why not people? Purchase you a weapon. Learn how to shoot the weapon properly. So whatever happens, you'll be able to defend yourself. You might have enough oh. courage. That person is about to do things mm-hmm. that you 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 intervene. Well, 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 should that be part of the pro- process, though? What's that? Should, should, should that be a part of the process? Like in order to get a gun, in order to get this rifle, you need to go through this training. Should we put that in place where you need to go to whatever training that's certified by the government, you know, or whatever, and they say, hey, look, you need to go through this training before you can purchase this rifle. You got to completely pass. I need to see the certificate and everything before you can purchase this type of rifle. Do you think that should be in place? You know what? And that that's a good question, but I'm not mm-hmm. cert- for certain because what what's the course? Are is it going to be an obstacle? Is it going to be an obstacle? Is it going to be an obstacle course? Are they going to be doing something like clearing? Now, if we're just mm-hmm. talking about just shooting down range, it's more to that yeah. when you're clearing a building or when you have some type of obstacle course. Mm-hmm. So that that would have to be really worked out and get some. Uh, some smart individuals together to do that, but I don't even see that as an option because it's a rifle. Oh, what handguns? Both. So wh- why Hand not put? Guns, why both. not put? Why not make it mandatory for people to go through a class uh, for handguns and rifles? That sounds good. That you know sounds good. You know, like go through we're a not course. Ready. Go go through whatever course they have. And I think it's, it should be federally mandated. It's not the state because state will change it. They be like, all right, you just need to go oh. to this one. And this state, well, we know some states you know, that you can open carry state, in. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah, yeah they, you can every open state carry has their own little thing, but just have it federally mandated. They need to go through a federally mandated course. And once they go through this course, that you know, just taught by whatever officials or whatever, and then that they, you know. And then before they purchase, they you know do the background check. I get that. I get that because some people are crazy. You know what I'm saying? You do the now, if you, check. hey Kane, if you're talking about like a concealed course, now they do. If you're going to carry concealed, you usually have to go through a course yeah, for yeah, that, yeah, yeah. and that's to carry it. Pay for listeners. Uh, that's for if you're going to have your weapon on you and mm-hmm. it's hidden. Okay, it's up under a shirt. It's in uh, up under your pants leg. Is concealed, meaning you can't see it. Now, for these open carry states, and we have open carry states, I wonder, is the crime bigger there? Because am I going to really try to attack you, rob you? I see that you have a gun right on your hip. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Come on now. Yeah, no, Come nobody's going to rob anybody that they really I'm going to try to take you right now. Me. No, oh, no, my no, gun is right there. That means no. I have it. I, it I will be. Person. I use it. To the next person. Yeah, and they may be concealed, but yeah, a soft no, target. It. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. That I get it. I get that. Yeah. But man, I'm telling you, this, this, these regulations that they're trying to say that let's do away with all these different weapons. How about look at because you you know this. I don't know how you feel about it. Talk to me. You know this that. 
the weapon, no matter what it is, whatever caliber it is, let's go, doesn't shoot itself. It people. doesn't shoot itself. People. 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 Pull the trigger. It's not people. automatic. So if you take something away from something, are you really getting to the root of the problem? People. If you take it away from the person, they'll find another way to do damage. That's how that's, I feel. That's how I that, feel. That's a true statement. But I mean, mm -hmm. let me say this, and this being well, devil's advocate with you. Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. The NRA, uh -huh. when all these things happen and all these mass shooting, and they always say, "Man, the NR NRA uh, is sponsoring so many senators. They so rich, and they sponsoring all these people, and uh -huh, people uh -huh, need to do uh -huh. something about the NRA." What is your thoughts on that? Well, it's just a, a association for what is it? Not National Rifle Association. Rifle Association. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like it's that. It's just an association. That's all it is, man. They and they have put a lot members. of money in pockets. Yeah, they have members and they pay dues, right? Yes. Yeah, they pay the dues or whatever, right? And they will lobby against other things because they, you know, they back all these other um, gun manufacturing companies. I get it. I get it. I, I just but, think. I just. I just I just yeah. think, and I just think this again, you don't hear me repeat it maybe three times. Fathers, mothers, single parents, you purchased a gun legally. Take a course, take your kids. To, you go to the range first and learn what you need to do. When your kids get of age, you can teach them the proper thing to do we all need to be able to arm ourselves and you do have that right because it's a right to do it do it properly and safely so you won't be a victim so you will have options options yeah. to do what you need to do for self-preservation I, I i agree i agree uh my final thoughts with this whole situation look yeah, get the proper training. Get the proper training. If you're going to get a weapon, make sure you know how to shoot the weapon. Make sure you're going to the range. Make sure you are uh, practicing gun safety. Definitely. Definitely. And also, um, the my whole thing with the, you know, banning certain weapons and things of that nature, it doesn't really matter. It's all about up here. If they're not mentally stable, to take, you know, to have that weapon, then they don't need to have that weapon. Now, mind you, there are black markets. That it's out there, guaranteed. Oh, we know it. If, if you if you don't purchase it legally, you can get it illegally if you want to do damage. Yeah. Guaranteed, it's yeah. always out there. That guns and drugs is always out there. But I mean, we can't we can't do anything about that. But my main thing is, it's not the gun. It's the person. Focus on the person. Get them, get them trained. Knowledge. It's not the gun. The gun, you they can put a thousand guns in, in my front doorstep. They don't do anything. It, it doesn't do anything. It, it doesn't kill people until I get behind it. And once I get behind it, do I have the mental capacity to control myself and know? What to do, when to do it, and how to do it. And and That's one other thing. thing, one other thing I gotta say, I gotta say this. Parents, please, when you purchase these weapons, because we see it time and time and time again. When you purchase these weapons, put them somewhere safe. If you need to get a gun safe, get a gun safe. Because letting these kids even if they you know let them if they're of age, you let them know and you take them to the range and everything. Mm -hmm. that can be fine that's on you as a parent but don't purchase these weapons and then leave these weapons alone where these kids are taking them to school and want to show them off and end up killing themselves killing their brother killing their sister exactly. or leaving your kids because one of the mass shootings moms had weapons or whatever didn't think her son would ever do that and then a bad situation happened lock these weapons up when you purchase these weapons because they are 
with weapons and they will kill and destroy and maim. So pra- practice gun safety. Gun safety. And that's all in the courses. Mm. So, Say it again. So all, all that that's in the course of getting a gun. Yes. So yes. So yeah, yeah. I like I say, and you know, I, I believe in the Second Amendment, have it. We don't need to change anything about it, but nope. we need to make make sure that everybody's educated about it. No. Nope. That's the biggest thing because guns don't shoot themselves, people shoot the guns. It's people, the person behind the gun. That's people who are killing people. People kill people. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Till next time. I'm Roger that. Oh!